What's up, my Choo Choo family? I'm your fun-loving epic vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. Like I said before, I got a few more mukbang throwback that I will be throwing at you. These videos were filmed around the Halloween time of last year, and I thought, why wait until this year of Halloween to post them? Since it's Asian Ghost Month right now, I might as well just put it. Not to say I tried to get rid of them, but. I think they were valuable memories of my old mukbang channel because I lost it. With that said, please subscribe and like this channel so I can rebuild my channel from the ground up. If you want to find out more how I lost my channel, I'll put the link in the description below. And for now, let's get on with this mukbang. Choo choo. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tom, and sitting right next to me is. Hello, my name is Jeremy. Nice to meet you. He's the first white guy actually come on my channel. Really? <laughs> But I'm so honored. The funny part about this is he actually can speak Chinese. 我不会，我会说中文一点点，会说一点点中文。That's That's better than my sister. I'm so kidding. Really? <laughs> But today we're going to eat. We're gonna make our magic. One, two, three! Voila! We're eating candies today. In honor of、um, Ghost Month, we are eating. Oh, Ghost Month! Yes, Halloween. Halloween. Yes, for this amazing festival. The、uh, whole October is amazing. What's your favorite story? Uh, movie. Growing up. My, my favorite. For the scary movies, that way. Okay, so I grew up in the eighties.、Mm -hmm. In the eighties is like the golden era of,、uh, you know, horror flicks. They have. Friday the Thirteenth. Yes, Friday the Thirteenth. They have Chucky. Chucky, the cute one. That, the cute one. one. <laughs> yes, he was kind of cute. Yeah.、Um, but my all-time favorite is. Ah, it's Michael Jackson's Thriller. <laughs> no, Michael Jackson's Thriller is a zombie. Yeah, but he has that moment of turning into a werewolf.、Uh, no, no, no. I mean, not not werewolf. The guy who has the long fingers. Yeah. Okay. We just. You don't know. Picture here. <laughs> It is. I don't know. Nightmare on Elm Street. It is my all-time favorite. It's always creepy because、oh, he's、yes. like, I now he's、remember. like a burn victim. Yeah. He was killed by his neighbors because he was a pedophile and he was burned to death and he can only kill you in your dreams. Have you ever seen Nightmare on Elm Street? No. I have seen. I mean,、wow. I've seen people dress up like them.、Oh, okay. Yeah, but I have never seen the the whole story of it. Oh, and you? What is your favorite、um, class, classic horror film? I love Sixth Sense. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixth Sense is good. Good、yeah. M Night It, Shyamalan twist in the yes, end. Yes, yes.、Yeah. And then、uh, I also like、uh, when I was growing up. I love The Ring. Wait, did I already tell you this? This is my、yeah. favorite horror movie nowadays. Yeah, the Japanese nowadays. one or yeah, the Japanese one. I mean, if we're talking about classic horror, like nineteen、yeah. eighties, it would be Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> yeah, but The Ring is like my all-time favorite. We're not okay. Not only、awesome. we're talking about scary stories today,、hmm. we're also going to share our own culture food during Halloween. So here we see some special American trick or treat snacks.、Um, yeah, I guess I shouldn't say American. Probably just from the West Coast. So when you're <laughs> trick or treating, these are the things they're handing out to you. I tried to find like. The very best, you know, the stuff that you eat first from your your bag,、okay. and then also tried to find the worst. But unfortunately, I couldn't really find the worst. I wanted to share with you like my least favorite, like when you eat all of your Halloween candy and like what's left on the very bottom of your pillowcase. Yeah.、Uh. So the guava candy.、Oh. Have you ever heard of it? Um, I know guava is pretty big in Taiwan. Yes. Um, but I don't know if I've had guava candy to be honest. Yes, and you gotta try this. This is amazing because. First of all, it's cheap and it's very flavorful.、Mm. So you know, cheap and flavorful, just like like how Asians are. <laughs> <laughs> A few moments later, and I know for Ghost Festival, I think in China they call it Hungry Ghost Festival because I think the point of it is like the gates of the underworld. I don't want to say hell necessarily because I don't know if it's yeah, like this distinction. I don't know if it's like people are being punished or if it's just like where all dead、yeah. people go or most dead people go. Yeah. Anyway, so I could be wrong. Comment, no,、um, yeah. comment the correct answer <laughs>、yes. if I'm wrong because I'm.、Please. You know, I, I was a foreigner in Taiwan,、um, but yeah, the gates of the underworld open, and they the, these ghosts haven't eaten for like a year, right?、Mm -hmm. So they're very hungry.、Mm -hmm. So Taiwanese people or Chinese people, they leave out offerings so that the Taiwanese, so that the ghosts can come and eat for this month and then go back 
to where they came from. I called it the Taiwanese Halloween because I, I mean, do you know, okay, what's the history of Halloween? I don't know. I mean, I think there's a lot of his. I mean, there's a lot of different origin stories. Yeah, I don't know, nor I care. I just love to dress up and trick or treating. That's all. Well, anyway, that's, let's let's dig in. Okay, what do I want to share with you first? I'm gonna share with you the hard candy first because it's harder to chew. So I'm gonna be eating it for a while. Yeah. Okay, we'll start with um. Woo! We have sweet tarts. Oh, what's sweet tart? Sweet oh, tart yes. is sweet and tart. And this is chewy. I think usually there's like the hard candy version. Ugh. It's no? Sour. I love sour candy. I actually love sour candy, but it's just I thought it was supposed to be. Oh, it's very sour. sour. Yeah, right? Yeah, more sour. Are you than sure? Candy. Yeah. Ooh. Are you sure it's not expired? Are you going um, to give these to, to the I'm kids? not actually sure about that because I some of these were gifts, so oh. I don't think candy expires. I mean, That's not true. Have you heard stories of like Halloween candy? No. About yeah. expired candy? <laughs> I, yeah. I, I've heard about razor blade candy. Okay, so there's the high chew, of course. Okay, well, you know what? Let's share some story. Do you have any ghost story you'd like to share? Yeah, it's Halloween. I mean, it's not Halloween, but it's gonna be Halloween. Yeah, it's Halloween month. It's Halloween, it's ghost month. Yeah, it's a ghost month. So, in, in, anyway, when I would ask my students how many people believe in ghosts, it would be 90 or 80%. Mm -hmm. But I feel like for Americans, it's maybe half or under, a little bit under mm -hmm. half. I think so too. Like for me, actually, I don't believe in ghosts. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to believe in ghosts, which will bring me to my ghost story in a little in a little bit. But I don't because I don't, I've never I don't seen want one like, before. Oh, I want to see it, but it's not there. Yeah, really, I want to see a ghost. <laughs> and all my students thought that that was ridiculous. How did you know that you could see supernatural entities? Mm. You all have to talk back ten years ago. When I was still visiting Taiwan regularly in summer, mm -hmm. and the place I was, um, we were renting it out because my parents, my family migrated here, so we didn't really have a house in Taiwan anymore. Right. So we were renting this place for like a month, and uh, one night I was playing my game okay. in my room, and uh, like I a video decided, game, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was playing a computer game during that time, and I decided to just go to a restroom. Uh, where my room is, uh, when I open the door, it's connected. Uh, you, I can see the restroom across from me, mm -hmm. so I can just go straight into it, right? When I was opening my door, there was like we always leave like a s small lamp on the side. Within that, my peripheral, I saw a little girl run into the restroom, and I immediately called out. My sister's name, right. like Sandy, is that you? But she, my my sister during that time, she was already fifteen. But it was a a little girl who was about four years old. Oh my gosh! She and now you are like in the moment of like, should I walk into the restroom? Do yes. I want to go in? Yes. And I decided to, you know, whatever. So I went in, and she I, was going to the bathroom. The whole time I was like. Just don't scare me. I just want to pee and I'll get the hell out uh, of here. <laughs> just let me share the bathroom yeah, with the ghost for yeah. just a second. And I didn't see her after that. Okay. But, mm -hmm. That so, was my first encounter my whole life. Ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago. So it's not something that started when you were a li little, little no, kid. No. Uh, yeah. But I mean, a lot of people who, th who experience some kind of supernatural, mm -hmm. you know, can see ghosts. And actually, I have a few Taiwanese... Not friends, but I know friends who have friends that the can people see ghosts. Say I'm grinder. Uh, <laughs> if that was on their grinder profile, I see dead people. Yeah, I'd probably mess the message them actually. <laughs> like, okay, this is gonna interest yeah, you. Yeah. But my ghost experience. Wait, first, Twix. Are you a Twix Twix fan? Oh, I love Twix. I basically like all the chocolate Halloween candy. I me too. I love chocolate. Like, I feel like those are always the ones that go first. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the point of buying anything else, right? Like, I can't really think of any other... I mean, my top three, which I have here. Mm -hmm. Reese's is number one. Mm -hmm. I love Reese's. Okay. Kit Kat. I love Kit Kat. Kit Kat's, Kit Kat's great for the texture. Yes. And Almond Joy hmm. or Mounds, because I love coconut. And some people hate coconut. Yeah, Are you... I don't really like coconut. Okay. But I, I eat it. Huh? But I think Butterfinger 
or be something that I love. Or Snicker bar. You know what's weird is like I forgot about Bung- Butterfinger. What? I like forgot it existed and I couldn't find a, like any Halloween bags. Yeah. Candy bags, I mean. Maybe that had Butterfinger. When the price would not or something. No, I feel like nobody eats it anymore. What? But you you say you like it. I but I, it. I did find it. I, I bought mm-hmm. specifically because I remember growing up like don't lay a finger mm. on my Butterfinger. Wait, am I allowed to say that? Um, like Bart Simpson or whatever saying that. I remember him being like a spokesperson for Butterfinger. Oh yeah, not us. Okay, one of my ghost stories. I guess my only or one of my main ones. Like I was saying, in Taiwan, I would tell my students because I was teaching adults. So during Ghost Festival, I kept... Okay, wait, do you know this? During Ghost Festival, there are many superstitions. Tons. Okay. In the U.S., when we have superstitions or in the West, they're all about luck. But in Taiwan or China... It's about ghosts. Yes. So what is one of the superstitions for Ghost Festival? Or or any time of year, maybe? Well, you definitely cannot pee anywhere during ghost time. What? Like you have to pee in the restroom, or else uh, your the ghosts will get pissed off during that ghost time and hunt you down forever. I've never even heard of that one. No, you shouldn't pee anywhere, like, besides a toilet. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, because, you know, in Taiwan, like, a lot of people just pee on the street. Yeah, in America, right? too. I mean, if you're driving yeah, on yeah, the yeah. highway, you yeah, need exactly. to go. You gotta you go. take a leak, and, yeah, you have to do The ghosts will go you through can. your urine into your body. No, they just, they're gonna get pissed off. Because apparently, like, the cultures, uh, it's, once the underworld gates open, uh, everyone's running. Uh, all the ghosts are running free. Mm. So every single corner, if you can see ghosts, you they're probably there. So if you pee, you're peeing on a ghost. You're peeing on a ghost, and then so they'll get pissed off, and then they'll probably curse you or like make you get into a car accident or something like that. So that's the one thing that you cannot pee anywhere. That's kind of funny. I haven't heard that one. <laughs> I mean, I've heard don't hang your clothes outside at night. Okay. Because the same thing, the ghost will like wear your clothes yeah. and then you bring in bring in your clothes you put it on the ghost is inside of you mm-hmm. don't whistle at night oh yes that's the one thing but i still whistle I, maybe that's why i can I see ghosts. oh yeah you're attracting them all m&ms with peanut yeah peanut m&ms are great i love peanut anything but peanut butter m&ms are even better i don't have those have you had peanut butter m&ms yes very good oh reese's pieces yes Reese's Pieces always reminds me of E.T. Why? Because there's a scene, I think, I forget. There he's like following a trail of Reese's Pieces to get somewhere, the alien. I don't know, I have to rewatch it. But all I know is that I'm reminded of this. I'll have to rewatch it. I mean, that was a long time ago. Yeah, but there's something Reese's Pieces in this. Oh, okay, I see. Um, And other superstitions are like this. Other superstitions, you can't say ghost during ghost month. So like, I told my students, I want to see a ghost. I want to see a ghost. And they all think I'm crazy. Because I think here in the U.S. when we talk about seeing a ghost, we think, oh, there's good ghosts, there's bad ghosts. But in a lot of Eastern cultures, it's not about, like, good or bad. It's just that energy in itself yeah. is, like, too much, I don't know if it's yin yang or yin yang or whatever. It's, like, too much of some kind of energy that just brings kind of bad luck into your life. So it's not about it being an evil ghost. It's just that energy is not good for you. Yeah, it's like the law of attraction, if you mm. have ever read that book. It's like when you think about it, it will happen. Yeah. So something about that is uh, you, you shouldn't even say it. Because by saying it, you cast out this law of attraction net mm. into the universe. So the universe will come get you. Good. So we so right now we're attracting... So wait. Do you see any ghosts right now? Wait, no. don't answer that question, actually. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so during Ghost Month, I kept telling my students I wanted to see a ghost. Mm-hmm. And they were like, okay, careful what you wish for. And the, my reasoning behind this is I have like my spiritual beliefs, you know, what mm-hmm. I believe as far as religion or whatever. Mm-hmm. But you don't have proof, right? And I feel like ghosts are one thing that could definitely be plausible as far as supernatural entities. Like, mm-hmm. so if I saw a ghost, I know then God must be real or some kind of higher being must be real. So that was my reasoning behind it. I'm like, okay, I saw a ghost. Oh, there is an afterlife or mm-hmm. there is something. Our spirits exist. Our spirits exist. I guess is the main thing. So, I was walking home one night. I live in Bi. Uh, there's a place in Taiwan in Taipei. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's called New Taipei City, which is like a bordering city, but it's it's part of it's really part of the the capital, the main uh, city of Taiwan. Yeah. But I was living in the south called Bi Tan. Do you know Bi Tan? A place that tr- attracts a lot of ghosts. 
Okay, yeah. Do you know that? Yeah, I do. Because yeah. there's, I mean, there's a big suspension bridge there. Yeah. It's a beautiful area. So if you ever visit Taiwan, yeah. you, you can you can visit the site. Yeah. Um, it's like on the edge of the city. It's very beautiful. But there's a suspension bridge where supposedly a lot of people hang themselves. Yeah. And jump or, over the bridge. Or yeah, or just yeah. jump. Oh, maybe hang themselves. I heard they just jump themselves. into the water. Yeah. But I always thought it wasn't high enough to actually kill yourself. Yeah, yeah, no. The, the, from... Most of the time, you just have uh, it's hang yourself. Okay, hanging yeah. themselves from yeah, the suspension yeah. bridge. So because you jump and then like you just right, your neck breaks yeah. and yeah. You're, ta da, ta da. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, uh, well, mm. well, we're, we're in America, huh? Uh -huh. So, you know, if the spirits in China or Taiwan want to come here, it takes time, okay? Yeah, they have to swim so across the ocean. So, by the time that comes here, this video is already over. <laughs> and the month is already over. Yeah, well, so, we'll I'm be not protected. Scared. It'll be Christmas time. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm walking alone on this bridge. Late at, no, not very late, like 10.30. Oh, why are you eating, by the way? Um, this is Milky Way. Oh, another yes. chocolate one. This one's yes. like one of my not so favorite chocolate Me candies. Me neither. Really? Yes, because it just gets so sticky. To yeah. The heat. The caramel. I'm not a big caramel guy. Mm -hmm. I'm walking alone, mm -hmm. late at night, or uh, pretty late, almost bridge. Nobody's on the bridge, mm -hmm. but I hear a woman behind me. It sounds like a woman anyway. And she's going. I can't do it because I'm eating. Wait. I hear a voice behind me going. Hey, hey, it sounds like she's saying, hey, hey, but I don't want to turn around because I'm thinking this woman has some kind of mental problem, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, she just has like, I shouldn't say mental problem. She has like some kind of problem, like mm -hmm. Tourette's or something and something. And I don't want to turn around and make her feel embarrassed. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like she's getting closer to me as I'm crossing the bridge. Hey, mm -hmm. I don't feel afraid, but I just feel like I shouldn't actually look at whatever is making the, the sound. Ooh, you so, should. Well, well, it's funny though because I, I hear it getting closer, hear it getting closer, hear it getting closer, but I'm still not looking, looking back, turning around. And it's not until I finish crossing the bridge, like I'm officially over the bridge, that I'm like, okay, what's happening? Turn around, nothing. Nobody there, no woman. I mean, there's people, but they're like far away, not close mm -hmm. enough for me to hear the sound. And I was just like, Ooh. no, I was just like, whatever. But the thing is, it happened again. Same exact thing. I didn't turn around until I crossed the bridge, and then I turned around. And you know what I think it is? Do you know this thing in Chinese culture or Taiwanese culture? Yeah, yeah. They say, so um, in life, you have three fires, and then so one here, one both on your shoulder and one on your head. So um, when the fire, so, so the ghost, their power, their, the, the, their power is to blow air. <laughs> It's like casting wind or whatever. So if there's a hurricane, that means the wind is, I mean, the uh, the, the ghosts are like casting a powerful... Really? No, kidding. <laughs> I was like, I don't no. know. So they say if you're, uh, if you turn around, they have the power to blow off the fire. Of, so so the fire is like your life. So if they blew off all three because you just turn around... Or they like can you, possess you, right? Yeah, yeah, possess. And possess you. Yeah. So I think what was happening or... If I believe it, probably it was just some something to explain, you know, maybe a duck or something below the bridge. But if it was actually, if it was actually a ghost woman, and something in my soul was telling me not to turn around until I crossed the bridge, it's because if I turned around, I would, I would make one of my flames go out and make it easier for this woman to, or this ghost, this entity, to possess me. But that was kind of the main, and I don't know if it's a ghost. I don't know what it was. But that was like. The first time I was like, hmm, that was strange. And this this bridge is supposed to be haunted because, like you said, suicide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, I want to I wanna try something really quick. So they always talk about putting Skittles and M&Ms into a bowl and mixing them together to, like, troll people. Why? I don't know. I guess it's something. there's something about it that's like, I don't know where my M&Ms And they look kind of similar. So when your mind is expecting one thing, but you get another thing. Okay. Or maybe it's like eating one after another. It like yes. messes, messes you up. Oh my up. god, that sounds kind of fun. Okay, so you're going to close your eyes and I'm going to feed you one. Okay. Okay, wait. Oh wait, I didn't actually grab enough M&Ms to mix. Okay. And then we should try to put like both together and see if it's... Yeah, right? Okay, so open your mouth wide. And I'm going to give you one. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, it's a skittle. No problem. Yeah. Make one sheep. <sighs> oh, 
other than his. Like, I don't know. It's not that bad. Boring. I don't know. See, I, I don't understand See, the problem. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Oh, it is kind of weird though. What's the scariest monster? Like, okay, if you're watching a horror movie, what monster do you find the most terrifying? I can watch horror movies. Really? No. Really? I can't. You know what? I laugh at them at all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Most of her, most of them. Like most of the time, bad. I just laugh at them. My friends used to take me to uh, movie theaters to watch it, and I just ended up laughing all the time. The thing is, like, so many horror movies. It's already been there, done that type of thing. So well, no, like, they're just mm -hmm. cheesy. They're just, like not good quality. And, but I love horror. I love like horror ah. as an art form. I love horror yeah. video games. Uh -huh. I'm a big video gamer, mm -hmm. especially horror games. Um, and yeah, most horror movies I see, I'm like excited when the Rotten Tomatoes is like above 70 because it never happens or it doesn't yeah. happen very no. often because no. they suck usually. I like a, I like a good metaphor. I like horror movies that are all metaphorical. Mm. You know, like what's a good example? Oh, like it maybe or oh okay baba duke it's like and, and you know it's like a demon but it's actually your inner demons that you're really trying to conquer yeah a little bit like that deep. oh those are interesting i i also back in the day i love silent hill That's my favorite thing in the world. Yeah. did we have this conversation too no yeah i love silent hill i hate the movies first of all no yeah, offense no no but i like the concept of it yeah, I love it. Silent Hill, the video game series, yeah. has inspired my entire life, basically. Not even kidding. Like, it influenced a lot of, like, my personality and why like I love when horror When the siren so hits, you just start yeah. running. Yeah, there's something hide. about, like, Japanese horror, too, where they're good at just giving you little details about the story. And, you know, there's some good filmmakers who do this, too, like David Lynch or whatever. But they don't spell the whole story out for no. you. So you finish it, and you're like, wait, yeah. what? Wait, what just happened? So you have to, like, research. Or you don't have to, but you can or you want to. Yeah, you try to figure it out. I love it. But then they turned it into a movie. And I feel like Silent Hill has so much cinematic quality to it. And then when I saw the first movie, I was like, uh, no. And then the second movie was like, no, really, really bad. And that's, like, every yeah, video it game adaptation. just very gory, right? It was just, like, bloody. It wasn't just, it wasn't even scary at all. It was just cheesy. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 Silent Hill's not cheesy, at least the first few. It's like deep. It's really cheesy, yeah. 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 But, um, so I brought three kinds of Reese's because why not, you know? Wow, I did not know they come with three different kinds. Yeah, well, it's funny because uh, my favorite Reese's are actually the holiday ones. And not that they're usually very different. Like for Christmas, they have the Christmas tree ones. And I like it just because like the shape, it's like softer and it's more delicious. So it's just regular milk chocolate. Yeah, milk chocolate. And uh, go ahead. Oh, is that mine? I mean, sure. I bought like a whole thing for me. <laughs> so Okay. This one I don't think I've tried before, but it's special for Halloween. It's a pumpkin, of course. But it's orange cream flavored. Which the only difference is the coat, right? So it's the chocolate, this is orange cream. And then finally we have white. Oh, you don't have the white. I don't like any white chocolate. Oh. What does that mean? I'm white. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why is it got Just a be white, white chocolate, guys. I love dark chocolate. No, because I want to try the other one. Oh, cool. I'm going to try this one. Okay, it doesn't have... Okay. From the look of it, it does not look like it's a Reese's Pieces. Like buttercup. Mm. So I'm like, mm, I don't this know how I feel about pumpkin. it. very wide pumpkin. So wide. Wide and white, yes. <laughs> but you know what's funny? Living in Taiwan for six years and then moving back, back my palate has changed to the point where... Actually, Reese is a little bit too sweet for me. I still love it. I love chocolate peanut butter. Yeah. They have something in Taiwan called Xingui Pai. I think I said yeah. that right. You know Xingui Pai? It's wafer, chocolate peanut butter yeah. wafers. Yeah. They're so good. Yeah. This is my favorite. Oh my God, this is great. You have to try it. Come on. What Actually, chocolate? I kind of prefer that. Ugh. I kind of prefer that to the... It's kind of interesting. I kind of like it better. And then finally, I have this one I've never tried before. Oh. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, it's good, right? Yeah. It's kind of a lighter flavor than... Mm -hmm. Like this is almost too rich. The anyway, the chocolate one. That we finished. Yes, this one is not as um. That one is really sweet. I think the orange one is sweeter than the black one. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the white chocolate's my favorite. The white one is way better. Oh, I feel chocolate out though. Yeah. And you, what is your favorite? I wait. I didn't try to hide the you. Pieces. No, what is your favorite candy of all time? Really quick, I'm gonna try. Reese's pieces. Yeah. Reese's pieces. Yeah, I love Reese's. Because I also love um, peanut butter. Peanut butter cheesecake? I one? hate cheesecake. Really? Cheesecake? I can't stand cheesecake. Because I my palate just could not register that if it's a cake, it's supposed to be sweet. If 
is cheese is supposed to be a little bit more on the salty side. Right. Yeah. But why is it sour? Yeah. Like, explain it to me. I don't know. It's just that Ooh. perfect blend of flavors. Like sometimes people like the salty sweet. Yeah, the salty sweet. I get it. Do you like pineapple pizza? I love pineapple pizza. There you go. Yeah, but I just cannot. The the mixture of it is just not my favorite. I just don't. This guy. I'm gonna be here and then fight for my rights of no. don't get cheesecake. You don't have those rights. You know what? What do you guys think about it, huh? How are you guys gonna? What are you guys gonna do about this? Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a fight in the comment section about yeah. cheesecake. I just feel cheesecake tastes like an expired cake, <laughs> and that's why it's sour. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. My favorite dessert of all time is pumpkin pie, and pumpkin pie is coming very soon. I've missed this Halloween, in Taiwan yes. because. You know. hey, we don't we don't do anything with pumpkin. Not that pumpkin. Yeah. I mean, you have like the different kind of pumpkins. Yeah, but like the orange do... Halloween pumpkin. No, they don't have that. Like, I'm either sugar high or yeah. I don't know what else I can say. But I definitely have more ghost stories that I'd like to share. But it's just not on this one because the the video is just too long right now. Yeah. So you know what? Next time, please bring Jeremy back in if he encounter any ghost stories this month. And please like and subscribe and hit that notification button. You're also a YouTuber back then, right? Um, not really, but look out for me in the future. I mean, I have like a singing video and See, stuff. But there you go. He not very sing. active. So maybe next time he'll sing a ghost story.